Okay, we're going to create a new table object in our uh, SQL database project in Visual Studio. Um, before we create our table though, we're going to create a schema for it to live in. So we're going to create a new folder by right clicking the project, uh, going down to Add, New Folder, and we're going to have a folder called Security. Then we're going to add a new folder called Schemas. We're going to right click add new item and our new item is going to be from the security and we're going to choose schema and we're just going to call that import schema click add this is a good practice so any objects that we make now we can put into this schema rather than dbo so later on it will be easier to secure so now we're going to make a folder to represent that schema, a new folder called import, and within that folder we're going to create one called tables, and then we're going to add table, and we're going to be making an exercise reference data table, so we're going to call it exercise, and then add. So we can either use the GUI at the top or the script at the bottom. So, for example, exercise ID becomes exercise ID down the bottom. So, we're going to have description. We're not going to allow nulls. Let's do the next bit down here. We're going to have an audit field called actually first inserted. That'll be a date time 2, 7. And we're going to have a constraint called df exercise first inserted. That'll be default get date, so we know when rows are first inserted into the table. And as I mentioned, we don't want to use the DBO schema. We're going to use one called import. We won't allow nulls either for the first inserted. And we're just going to make the exercise ID and identity because that's going to become our surrogate key at some point. And we need to give ourselves a little bit more room for the descriptions for the exercise. So we'll just give that 50. And that should be enough for the start of our table to be created. I'm going to save that and close. And that's our first table added.